there, my lovely Lego Alex. What? What's that? Am I feeling okay? Because I'm not wearing a dressing gown. Um, funny you should mention that. I did. I did go outside into the real world today. I know. Also, hi to Ruth, who I met at Cafe Nero uh, really randomly, and that was really fun. <laughs> I was just really taken aback. I wanted to come on here because I have received a delivery. <laughs> um, I've kind of been carried away with like mocking my um, modular, so I've decided to get rid of the grey and the white layer in the middle of the modular and make it all olive green. How much did this cost me? Best not to talk about that, okay? Olive green, not very cheap. Now I know, <laughs> but it didn't deter me because I wanted to do it. I have things to mock, so I best get started and show you, shall I? So what I meant with eradicating the grey and white layer, I meant those two because I saw it somewhere online and now it's in my head and I can't get it out, so I'm gonna do that and hopefully it will look really good. All right, so I've changed it all from the underneath. As you can see, there's still some white. I do actually have enough olive green to change those, but really they're only visible from internally, so like there is not really any reason for me to do so. I got two by 16 plates in olive green. They actually weren't too bad to get. They were just not cheap, but like, you can get them pretty readily. I also got two by four in olive green. They again weren't too bad. This was basically a two by 12 before and that was a two by eight, but two by eight in olive green either didn't exist, I can't remember, or two by 12, or was too expensive. I don't know which one, but making them more like two by four was much, much easier, so I opted for that. And then here at the bottom, that was a one by eight plate and that was actually pretty easy to replace. So that is what I've done from the underneath. Feel free to copy it, I guess. Like it doesn't really make a difference. It just, it's really straightforward. So now when I put on it, like I have eradicated the white layer. So the next step is gonna be me eradicating the gray one. The only thing I won't be able to replace are these brackets that hold the museum sign on. I can make them white, which I may do, but I can't make them olive green because I do not have them and I don't actually know if they exist. Alrighty, that's all done. I think this is gonna look really good. I'm so excited for the reveal. but like it looks so calm you can't really tell whether the floors join i really like this look oh my god it's so beautiful <laughs> it's really like towering over everything yes you can see my little banners that i've got on the side here i think i didn't want to block off those windows as i said and i think it's working i'm really really happy with it it also helps with making it even bigger and it's also solidifying my head that i really want to extend this so much like so much oh my goodness i just want to a bigger i think it's gonna look really cool if i were to make it bigger so but i've just built the sort of base layer of the window not window what this is the roof <laughs> just to investigate how easy it'd be to extend i think the main problem i'm currently finding is i have to extend by eight studs in order to you know replicate this technique because they're using this sort of piece and i don't think this piece exists in a smaller version than a, a well, well two and a bit by eight luckily i was expecting to extend it by eight studs anyway so that should be okay i'm hoping <laughs> so that is sort of what i'm planning in my head at the minute really briefly i just added a few tiny changes to this actual step i just added a one by four tile in dark British gray here so you didn't see the studs i know that means that you can't really see the full frame but the full frame is still there i just didn't like the exposed studs there per se and also in between the first frame and the second frame so there it goes there's an inner frame and an outer frame i've added like a one by four black tile just so there isn't a random bit and i just realized that it's a very old kind of scratch tile and added but anyway so that's like basically just a black tile so it doesn't feel completely exposed this technique is crazy i really like that they use these colors in here so you can kind of highlight the differences or like see what they've done but i really love how like just it just slots in and it looks so beautiful and perfect and like it's just so clever this i live for this this is awesome it's done i actually really really like it um, i have attached that little cleaning thing i'm going to remove it because i think it's distracting and i actually also though i really like this tree like a lot i think i'm gonna move that tree into like my path it's actually so impressive like it's so just it's such an impressive building i love it so much two floors have been removed these ones have been heightened by the brick now to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm making this up as I go along, so I've got quite a lot of the bags in here. I 
I had them all spread on the table initially, but like I realized I needed some organization. So I have like bricks in here, tiles in there, random stuff there, bigger plates and a normal plates, like one by plates. I'm really just trying to use the two modulars as I have them. I don't really want to have to buy extra bricks. The only exception I'm making is like having the one by four tiles there instead of two sets of one by twos. I'm gonna keep that hiding platform that is in place there already. I'm gonna continue that on to here. I think I'm gonna move this exhibit of the volcanoes over to this side because this is gonna say like the museum bit. And I think I'm gonna make this side like a cafe, but <laughs> I want to add like a glass extension to it. So that is gonna be extra bricks. But that was kind of like the point. I wanted to have like a sort of like a unique thing. So that's again limited to what I already own. Um, the interiors are gonna be a problem for a late date. I think I'm just gonna focus on for now on just making it bigger. Process is real. This was so much easier than the bottom floor. So I just extend it. This is what it looks like from the bottom. Not too bad. I don't really think this translates on camera, but it's really huge. Um, you can kind of see it like with the smaller things in the background. It's massive. I like it a lot. I kind of like my little like thing here. I may end up adding ivy on that side, like crawling all the way up, but I haven't decided yet. Maybe like a billboard. I'll have to see. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And now for the next challenge making this bigger. The roof is definitely the most tricky so far because I have to work out how to make this really sturdy because in the original design actually it looked really simple from the outside but it was really sturdy and well designed on the inside and that is going to be really hard to replicate because um, there is so much more space to fill so I'm gonna to have to think how I'm gonna do that. It's done it's so hard to show scale like just on camera but like sitting here as a human and looking at this it's massive. <laughs> it's obviously now more than two base plates wide and it looks really cool. So obviously the original building was perfectly a base plate and a half and I've extended it with half a base plate but also I added this little thing here which obviously makes it a bit bigger. That's not completely finished and also the interiors aren't completely finished but the exteriors are completely finished and I think it looks so good. I'm really glad I kept the window separate because I quite like how symmetrical everything is. It makes me just very happy. So I'm impatient and I've started adding lights because I really want to just see, even just like with the lights inside, because it will be super dark without it. I'll probably change them and make them more integrated once there is a kit available, but I just wanted to add some lights. Time to demonstrate the difference between a dying battery pack and plugged in. Oh my God, I'm in love with this. <laughs> It. and yes I am back in my trusty dressing gown because it is chilly today and I needed it okay and it's only fair because I feel like it's becoming a staple of the channel I had so much fun with this mock honestly I feel like I have been blessed this week of like I had time I had the funds to buy a second one I had the luck of getting this on Sunday I just had the best Lego week in probably this entire year if I'm really honest with you and I cannot be more grateful. I'm so glad this all came together. As I said in the video, obviously this is sort of like a temporary place because I still need to do interiors, but I really want to make sure that I take my time and come up with something cool. You also see huge spoilers for the park, which obviously continues to be shaped. And there's plenty of other stuff that I'm working on around this. I'm also super excited that this sort of building gives me a new direction for like this area of the like town. It means I have a centerpiece for the bottom level of the city. So I kind of go from there and like, change it up and sort of like have a place that I can build out from which is going to be really helpful because that's kind of what I was struggling with before. I'm just so excited for the future of Bricksworth. I think this is just exactly the modular and the product that I needed and I am so grateful to share with you. Also I'm so glad that I was impatient and added the lights. Once I added the lights it like it basically made it so magical for me. So if you are interested in adding your own lights I use DIY elements from Gave Bricks which is kind of like the stuff that I use mostly. I have an affiliate link if you're curious it's like 25% off but like have a check in the description if you wanted to support this channel through affiliate links that'd be great yeah basically that is all I have to say about this module I really hope you like it thank you so very much for coming on the journey one more thing I know I think I don't say this enough but thank you so much especially to all the members 
and also all the regular viewers for watching these videos because without you this wouldn't be possible and you've made me feel like the luckiest girl in the world to be able to do this so thank you from the bottom of my heart for making this possible it's been amazing and hopefully i'll see you in the next video for more treehouse dreams reviews park updates and just the shaping of Brooksworth for both that corner and also the rest of the city so I'm really excited to take you along for that. See you very soon, have a lovely rest of your day, goodbye! Hello! Ben just put the tree up, the cats don't know what to do. You don't know what to do with it do you? You're just hiding underneath it instead. That's fine too. Boop. Oh. Hi, Mara. Hi, Mara. You're feeling better.